Hey, everybody, you know by now that Tony Romo managed to score a $17 million contract to be what he has been. The analyst, not the play-by-play -play guy, but the analyst for CBS Sports, and let's face it, Tony Romo has done an outstanding job. Why? Because he has mastered the art, I think even better than John Madden, of taking simple or rather complex at times football schemes and approaches and simplifying them. And he does this often, far more often than not, in seconds, producing new sound bites that become social media content within seconds and go viral with equal time. I have to say that I haven't seen a talent like that since John Madden hit the airwaves uh, after coaching the Oakland Raiders. And John Gruden, lest we forget, was a color analyst for Monday Night Football and a very effective person. Not quite a Tony Romo, but more often than not with flashes of brilliance. And there was, there was this, always this thought that at some point he would return to coaching, and he has. But it wasn't because he wasn't a good analyst. Quite the contrary. John Gruden was a great analyst on Monday Night Football. He was candid, informative, to the point, had interesting segments, the Gruden Grinders, for example, always made a reason for you to want to watch ESPN's Monday Night Football. And that's really a credit to John, as much as it is as it is the ESPN producers and marketers who recognize his talent. So he comes back to football. I mean, who can turn down a 10-year, $100 million guaranteed contract to coach the Oakland Raiders, now the Las Vegas Raiders, or at some point? So he does. But let's face it. Let's just be 1 billion percent honest. Not, not even 100 percent, but just 1 billion percent honest. You and I both know that the John Gruden we're getting in reality is not the fantasy we expected. You know, the fantasy where he was going to return to coaching in his first year, he was going to march the Raiders to the Super Bowl. Or the fantasy that saw John Gruden returning the Raiders to the Super Bowl in his second year, which is diminished to the fantasy of the John Gruden just making the Raiders winnable his third year. So how far down the pipe can Gruden go with these go with these performances before Mark Davis? Raiders owner, principal owner says, you know, I think I'd like to try something else. Or, in a more Markian way, see this other bright, shining light of a coach, whoever that might be, and decide, I want to try that. Because that's essentially what happened to Jack Del Rio. And I remind everybody that Jack Del Rio brought the Raiders to the playoffs for the first time in quite some time. Gruden has yet to do that. He came very, very close last year. But as you and I again both know, close only works in horseshoes and nuclear war. So now that John knows that it's possible to gain more money sitting on your tush and talking than it is coaching a group of highly talented, well-tuned athletes just out of school, what's to stop him from biting on a contract that might pay him, oh, $20 million a year? That's well, well within the realm of possibility. I mean, think about it. Celebrated broadcast analyst leaves for the NFL to coach the Raiders, the team he once coached, 
then decides, you know, he wants to ride off into the sunset, has given the return a try, it didn't quite work out. But he reestablished the Raiders on a good footing for the future. And so now he wants to go back to the broadcast booth to tell you all about it. You think that's worth 20 million a year? Is it worth 17 million a year? Maybe 15 million? Let's put it this way. Tony Romo has set the market for people like John Gruden to come back into the broadcast booth and make a truckload of money. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.